Biden, but first sources are telling us the man who died is a 35-year-old from Oak Creek with a history of criminal convictions. And our news crews did see a shotgun on the ground here last night, but we still have a lot of unanswered questions. The VA did issue that statement, as you said, before 9 o'clock. A man with a weapon entered the property, they say, and police stopped him outside the east entrance. Police told the man to drop his weapon, but he refused. The man then threatened officers with his weapon, causing police to fire multiple shots, hitting the man. Here is the call to police. I was like the VA officer mob shooting. And over there by the main entrance, use caution, subject with a gun. Only let out emergency personnel in and uh, police personnel. But we're gonna lock everything coming into the VA. At first, responders took the man to the emergency room right here at the VA where he died. They say there was no ongoing threat, and right now, everything appears to be back to normal here, but a very tragic scene out here last night. Live in Milwaukee, Terry Sater, WISN 12 News. Terry, thanks for that update. And as we mentioned, Matt Salemi flew over the scene as officers investigated. Here's his exclusive view from News Chopper 12. We arrived on the scene right around 10 o'clock and officers were focusing all their attention around the front entrance way here. We noticed immediately red crime scene tape around the entrance. We saw some evidence markers. You see those cones there right underneath the front awning. There's also a handful of cones behind a car here in the handicapped parking zone. And then a short while later, we saw officers looking around a side door here behind a wrought iron fence, looking on the ground with flashlights. After a little while, the DA arrived on the scene and they all walked over by this uh, handicapped parking spot and they shined a flashlight right in, pretty much in the center of my frame. You can see that black object in the center of the frame there. That is a shotgun laying on the pavement. And that seems to be the area where uh, they've been focusing most of their investigation throughout the evening is right here at the front entrance of the VA Medical Center. Above the scene in News Chopper 12, Matt Salemi, WISN 12 News.